So before Money Boot Camp, I would say I was just feeling a little lost and frustrated. Stuck is probably like the best word. I was just feeling very stuck and stuck and frustrated. Those are probably like the, the two words. Um, I, I've i been a hairdresser. So before real estate, I was a hairdresser. Still am a hairdresser. I can never like not say that title. Um, so I own salons, things of that nature, but I knew I kind of didn't necessarily want to be all in in that anymore. Didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do, but just had gotten my real estate license. So I knew I was like shifting, um, but just feeling very stuck. Like I had some, some debt that I needed to, to clear up and, um, you know, like, just like family stuff that kind of need to clear up and that kind of thing. So everything was just kind of feeling very stagnant. I was tired of hearing myself complain. So I, I just kind of remember that feeling of like, I'm really tired of hearing myself complain about it. And I feel like to, um, and she probably had this before, but there was like a, a payment, a payment plan that maybe I wasn't aware of before. So I was like, oh, okay. Like I, I'm going to kind of like commit to myself a little bit more. I know I needed to kind of like do that and, um, just kind of re-listening to honestly the advanced manifesting course I was just kind of like okay and then I feel like she did like a free she always does like all her cool little free things that she does and I feel like she had done one on Facebook and you know I'd obviously worked with her before through the advanced manifesting course but I was like okay and then that's what kind of got me it was like all right at the end of this it was like around the new year um that kind of thing so I was like you know what I'm doing it doing it like just sign up so yeah <laughs> Yes, I felt like, oh gosh, I'm going to spend like money. I'm maybe, probably not going to tell my husband about. Um, I didn't. Um, just, it, I think eventually I did. Probably like, oh yeah, I, so I got like this money mentor. But I think it was more just the investing in like a coach for myself. Um, and, and it being like money mindset focus because it was just kind of like oh gosh what if this doesn't work for me I think that was probably like the biggest fear um was like this is you know she's great and, like she can manifest all this cool stuff but that's like Denise so um what if I can't so I think that was probably the biggest thing for me it was just like what if I can't so I would say sorry my dog's starting to to get <laughs> he wants the attention um oh gosh what would I tell myself it's just to do it you know like you are worth the investment yourself. I found that out, you know, in another one of her courses um, that just with like my, my particular money archetype, like I need to be given permission a little bit more to spend any type of money on myself. I just feel like selfish at all. Even if it's for business that will then, you know, turn around and help my family. It's just kind of one of those things. So I would say just go ahead and, and do it. Um, it's not that scary everything's very um attainable and she breaks it down into pieces where you can just you're all self-paced so you don't ever feel like you're like behind I, I feel like that was great for me found after I joined I found myself like craving it almost in the morning like like that's my morning time that's what I do is like first thing in the morning it was like I need to hear Denise um I need to hear like some things about that. Like it was just very almost therapeutic to kind of like get some of that and help set like your day and the intentions for the day. Um, what else? What else? I just, and I like the way it kind of flowed. Um, and the fact that there's like the call replays. So if maybe I was feeling a little stuck or in, in a module and I just couldn't like bring it out for whatever reason, then I sometimes would just put on some of the call replays and just kind of hearing other people and hearing her having the conversations like, oh, oh yeah. So then I could kind of revisit a module um, and printing it all out for me. That was like game changer, printing out the whole workbook and having it all like professionally binded was, was really good. Three biggest wins since being in boot camp is I actually like set a, a monetary goal. And in like the industry I'm in in real estate, that's kind of like there's like sales goals and like all that kind of stuff. It's a it's an industry I'm still trying to like wrap my head around when it comes to that whole part of things. Um, but I set a goal and I actually wrote it down and it happened. So I would say that was, that was like a really big, like win for me. Um, Denise is always talking about, and like in money bootcamp too, like your strengths and just hiring things out. I think that was like probably one of my favorite things ever. It was just kind of like, you know what? You're right. I don't, I don't want to do that all the time. So that's something I enjoy doing. I want to hire it out. So I finally 
got like a, a, a house cleaner. Oh, I love it. It's like, oh, it's like such a win. Um, so I'd say like, that's one, that's two. And then three would just be more of a, a sense of confidence in self again, I guess. Um, you know, I had had a business, a salon business before I had like made some money that I felt like, yeah, like, you know, we talk about like our income letter in, income levels, like the energetic. And I felt like I'd hit that and I was like, oh gosh. And then it, you know, it didn't work out for whatever reason. So I think just being scared that it would all kind of fall apart again. And then just saying like, nope, all these things are, are continuing to happen. I loved, um, incremental upgrades. I think just like those little upgrades that you do for yourself, I think those were very, very helpful for me just to kind of see that I'm doing certain things that I wanted to do for myself, and for like my family and, you know, business and life and everything, and I'm actually doing them. Um, so I would say those are kind of like the biggest wins is just kind of noticing too, that there's a shift there. I, when it comes in, it's it used to be like this frantic feeling of like, oh gosh, it's going to come in. And then I don't, it, it's, it's all just going to go before like I even realize that it's hit and now it comes in and it actually like sits there for a while and I can I can like disperse it where I kind of need it to go which is um yes which is like ah, that is great there like that is that is wonderful so I the confidence I would say confidence and for me like confidence and permission are probably like the biggest things for me like I have I've given myself more permission to say no to certain things, honestly, whether it's, you know, family related tasks and errands or um, to focus on business type things. Um, so yeah, I would say for me, those are kind of been like the biggest shifts of just showing myself that I can do things. And there's, there's actually money in there now that I'm not so anxious about. Let's see in the hair industry, it was always like that broke artist, you know, struggling artist type of thing. Um, for whatever reason like that was just kind of and you did like you and for me in particular that nurturing characteristic of just oh you lost your job today I'm so sorry your haircut's free like you know, no color for, you know I, I'll do your whole hair color for nothing so just like that part of it in that industry and then I would say in real estate oh it's that hustle like hustle 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 like work work grind grind um you know, there's these big numbers that are thrown out all the time. And, and I'm just kind of like, what about the people, you know, like what about the actual person? So uh, I would say those are probably like the blocks for me that I kind of am still working through is, is, you know, I'm a business oriented person. I like to work. I, you know, I have kind of like that, that work hard mentality anyway, but sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean that you're productive. So so the money boot camp group, all the lucky bees, um, I would definitely say it's just probably one, one of the most inviting, uh, inviting environments. Everyone's super nice and friendly and the, I don't know, everyone's just kind of there to cheer you on. So, I, and I feel like that's, that's great. And even if you're having a bad moment, um, cause I know sometimes I, I'm like, oh gosh, I probably should delete that. Um, there's if you feel like you're having a bad moment and you kind of just need to like get it out, there's definitely going to be someone who's going to just kind of be like, okay, like what about this? But it's lesson oriented. So you can kind of take it back into like a boot camp type of thing. So it doesn't help you spiral. I would say that's just wonderful. It helps you like not spiral and your brain go off into all the lovely different directions because you have other people there that are like, okay, well, remember this one or have you tried this with this? Um, yeah, I mean, and it's cool to see people, you know, that you kind of started with maybe at, at the same time that you started boot camp with all the different things and nuances that they're doing and um, people pop in and out. So I would say, you know, like at some point in time, I was probably more active than other point in times. And it's all just good. It's all good. It's like there's no pressure to like be any certain way within the group, which I think is is cool. And, and then I, I love the fact that Jimmy says it'll be there until it's not like, you know what I mean? So you're, you should kind of feel comforted in that. <laughs> yeah. So Denise as a teacher is just a real person. I would say that's probably like my favorite thing about her is she's a very real 
relatable person. She's not, um, every time I click or you go through the videos or, or even like podcasts or just the lives that she does and, and the things like every time she's just like a normal person. It's not like all this stuff. It is a very, um, real conversation. Um, you know, like, and I think for me, she's very inviting. She tells you what she needs to tell you, which to me is great. She gets to the point. Um, I, I appreciate that. Um, I feel like she does give guidance, even though she says she doesn't necessarily, she definitely does. So, um, I like that about her. I'm like, you're definitely telling us how to do it. Even though you tell us, you, you don't tell us how you are definitely telling us how. Um, so I appreciate that about her. I just I appreciate that. She's like a real person and has regular traits like the rest of us. And, um, yeah, that's probably like one of my favorite things. She's just very relatable. She talks to you like you're a normal person um, and she's not judgmental. Um, I That's also being in the real estate industry and being on a team. I have other coaches that I now have to follow and I'm saying have to, because I have to. Um, it's like a you know thing. And I know this, it's like, just, I can't stand it. But so for her, it is, it's wonderful because she's just not judgmental and she just wants you to chill and prosper and it's wonderful like she just wants you to do the best of you <laughs> and your business oh let's see the incremental upgrades is definitely one anchoring i liked anchoring i like having things around me that remind me um of like what i'm working towards i have a lot of her money affirmations like all around and tapping 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 like never done tapping before and you feel like it's silly even when you're doing it I totally felt like it was silly while I was doing it at first too now it's just one of those things where it's like eh, what's wrong with me and I'm like I'm just tap something you know so um it's those those I would say that like tapping and the scripts um a lot of her scripts and things like that I have printed out and and I just kind of can tap along to those a lot I have a lot of those and a lot of reminders that pop up on my phone um, which I think is like some of the anchoring stuff that she has us do. So, yeah, I feel like it's important for people to work on their money mindset uh, for themselves and for the world, to be completely honest. I feel like it's just something that the world needs in general for everyone to kind of just heal, heal their crap a little bit more. Um, if everyone could be a little bit more self-reflective and, and figure it out, then I just feel like as a whole, everyone would be better. And just for your own peace of mind and your own family, like figuring out your, your money blocks is, why not? I, I just don't, I, I'm just kind of like, well, why not? If, if you're not getting to where you want to be and you just keep feeling so stuck, why not figure out what the block is and try to get to it? And you're going to keep finding more and more blocks. So <laughs> it's just, they're always going to be there. <laughs> as far as like doing boot camp, there is no behind. I love that. I love, she says it all the time. And that's so true. There is no behind. You can catch up at any point in time. Um, you can get on any of the calls. Like if you just, if that's the month that you happen to start and you, then you hop on the call and it's fine. And you might not necessarily completely know what everyone's talking about, but you're definitely going to have an idea. The modules flow um they don't they're not it's not like so much work that you feel like you have to like stack them on top of each other like you know I don't know like your crazy homework time I don't know that you would have something like that it's all just very easy um the workbook the way that you know you you answer the questions about your about yourself you know it's just it's like kind of taking a Cosmo quiz, like, you know, when you had Cosmopolitan, you would open them up and you kind of like take the little quizzes about yourself, like those kind of things. So it, I feel like it gets done fairly quickly. It's more like you do the lessons and you maybe fill out the stuff and then you're just kind of like, okay, where's my millions? You know, like, so I feel like that's more the part you just have to sit with a little bit more. And then as things kind of start to clear up, you're like, oh, 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 okay. Like, I got it, got it. Let's see, advice for someone thinking about joining boot camp is I, I mean, I would definitely say just do it. You know, at this point, I was definitely one of the people that was on the fence, like, oh, you know, and like I said, I had done other things. So, um, and I had heard about money boot camp, but for whatever reason, that that just wasn't the time and it didn't click. And then this this more recent time, it did click. And 
I would say dive into Denise. You know, that's kind of what I did. So like read her, read her books if you haven't, or listen to them on Audible, um, listen to her podcast and just kind of get a feel, I guess, and just feel it, feel it out. And then um, ask, you know, like, I, I feel like you guys in her community are wonderful. So you'll ask, you'll answer whatever questions people have. So um, if, there's, if you have a question and you just kind of need that answered, then um, ask and they'll, and they'll answer it for you. And, and you'll be happy once you do join it. Cause it, it's very like low pressure. Everyone's kind of, you know, I hate to say, I keep saying normal people, but everyone's just kind of like real relaxed. Everyone's just, um, go with the flow. I mean, we still get things done. Obviously it's like business money mindset, you know, but, um, I don't know. It's just a very welcoming, welcoming environment. So you will definitely be welcomed once you are, once you're, once you're in. <laughs> okay. So money boot camp is different in the, you dive deeper into like yourself. So money boot camp truly is like, you watch the module, then there's like the workbook that goes along with it. Once again, not necessarily homework, but it's more just so you can get the introspective stuff on yourself and it pulls things out of you that, you know, you're like, no, that, I didn't, I don't, I don't no, that has nothing to do with me. And then you're like, oh crap, yes, it does. So I think like, I think it's just a lot of that. It's like, it actually pulls things out of you that you thought you were, you know, Oh, I don't, I'm not triggered by that whatsoever. And then yet there's like, yeah, you are, you know, you just didn't necessarily realize it. So I, I would say that's how it's different is the fact that it, it makes you ask different questions. Like in the podcast and in her books, it they're, they're wonderful, but it's not the mindset work that she's having you do when you do money bootcamp. Yes. Okay. So my vision for myself in 2023 as a boot camper and just like Mia in general, um, I would say is just to continue to uh, set goals for myself. I think I'd stop for a while, totally stopped. Um, so I would say continue to set goals for myself. And I, I do want to get like a passive income stream of some sort. I still haven't quite figured that out yet. So, you know, um, I still, I was, I want, I want one of those. And I would like my home, like my actually home, like going into other people's homes as a real estate agent can be maddening when you come into your own sometimes. So <laughs> like, I want my own home to kind of reflect more of like the vision that I have on my Pinterest boards and things like that, whether it's this particular home that I'm in or, you know, maybe a future one. Um, so that's kind of, that's kind of what I see in 2023 and, and more vacations just more, I need more sun in my life. So some, some warm Sunday vacations. <laughs> as far as money boot camp, like just in general, anything that I think people should know is just, it's, it's evolving. So even though I feel like I've gone through it, you know, like you, I'm not done. Um, so I find myself constantly kind of going back to other little lessons and, and opening up the, the workbook and, and rewriting some things. I will probably start it all over again in, in 2023, just for like myself. Cause I feel like this is not something I just need to do. Like I need to go through money boot camp once a year um, to just keep pulling the crap out, you know? Cause I know that, you know, there's, there's obviously, so obviously some stuff there. So I just want to kind of keep going and, um, yeah, I think too, I, it's weird. Like, I think for me, I'm still kind of working through some of the imposter type stuff. Like I know, like when Denise, it's like, okay, I'm going to be here. Okay. I'm going to be there. And I'm going to be here for this certain time. I'm like, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I wouldn't be ready to meet Denise, but I'm like, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. Denise. So, um, so I think that's probably like a goal. I'm like, well, if she comes like in 2023 or 2024, like, or something like that. And like, yeah, why not? Like, I want, why wouldn't I like want a ticket to like go see that? So I think for me, it's just kind of like, nope, I, I could do things like that. Yep. Yep. So I would say money boot camp is just, it, you're going to keep going. You're going to keep learning, you know, and you're going to keep growing with it as well. If you're looking for expert training on money mindset, a supportive community and mentoring to work on your money stories, I invite you to come work with us in Money Bootcamp. Our community is growing every day. And when empowered people come together and take control of our financial destiny, we really can change lives. 
come and join us on this journey. Just click below, take a deep breath and enroll in Money Bootcamp today. You'll get our amazing money mindset training, ongoing mentoring and access to our beautiful, inspiring community. So then you can have the encouragement and accountability to make a breakthrough with your money. And you'll get support from all of our experienced mentors and live group coaching calls with me every single month. We will be with you every step of the way to help you create more abundance with less stress. So click below, take a deep breath and just hit join on your registration. Make this investment in your dreams and get started now. So you can release your money blocks, increase your income and surround yourself with amazing people invested in your success. I'll see you in Money Bootcamp. It's your time and you're ready for the next step.